Good evening and welcome to the news. Tonight's first story and the first story on the show. And I'm not joking. White people are apologising for being white. Like, it's like Britney Spears apologising for even existing, not needed. I'm not saying she's a good artist, I'm just saying that, uh, about, uh, 2007, 2008 would have been shit years. Of course, 2007 would have been good because I was born then. But, uh, yeah, 2008 wasn't her year, and, uh, she's learned from then. And to be honest, we should really free her, but... Can you fucking stop talking about it? That's all I was fucking, I was fucking hearing about last year. Free Britney, how's that free Britney? Shut up. <laughs> As such, we have decided to get our editor to apologise for being British. And here it is. Bloody hell, I'd like to apologise for being British. I'm very sorry, but, uh, I'm sorry that the Gallagher brothers are massive wankers and, uh, so sorry for uh, the Beatles. Also for, sorry for uh, John Lennon saying that the Beatles are bigger than Jesus. And also I apologise, I'd like to apologise for uh, pretty much anything bad we've bloody done. I can't think of anything. So uh, yeah, I'd like to leave it here. And the two things that we will soon but we'll switch into one thing to the yeah, first off, she lost weight. Yeah, many people camera um Fuck you editor. Uh yeah, many people know her as if for uh pretty much playing tour in fat pizza. But I know her for being in pitch perfect in fat pizza. <laughs> But uh, yeah, she's got weight. She was lost weight. The thing is that she's got this shit to be out of lockdown. So we there be one fucking else. Next story, because I'm uh, currently running out of time. You know, coming if it's next, and uh, when we run out of time, Tracy Grimshaw gets the shits, and uh, we don't like that. For the first time in state of origin history, from what I can remember. Queensland has been smashed. When I say smashed, I mean they didn't even score a point in the last ever against the game. At their own field. Yeah, at Suncorp Stadium. Queensland home ground in the state of Oregon. They got smashed. Good for them and good for New South Wales. Because, uh. But what I got told and what I uh, remember every single 95% of the time New South Wales play that that field we get smashed and uh, it's not good it's not bloody good and now time for the final story right after our sponsor Base Jam 2 worst boobs ever Tracy Grimshaw has just celebrated 40 years of being on television. We'd like to congratulate her. To commemorate her, we've uh, decided to uh, show the greatest clip ever shown on a Kevin affair. The greatest clip, the clip that all of Australia knows. Here it is, the serial pervert con man. Roll the clip, yeah. I'll get you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll drop the lot of you. Yes, Pastor Stephen John Jones is one disgusting serial pervert con man. Did you, David? You think you're f***ing smart? Mate, you have no idea who I am. If you go and ask the deuce, I'll tell you. <laughs> we have no idea who you are. You're a serial pervert con man. the wrong thing. You would have got this place cleaned up. Serial pervert con man, aren't you? That's who you are. Come on, come on. 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 Come
cops are just there. Good one. Give a f 60. I've had a good life. Give that to your viewers. When I'm a pastor and when I'm an evangelist, I love people. No, Steve. You're a serial pervert con man. Call me a serial pervert con man. Little dog. Anyway, I'm Peter Overtown, and uh, see you next time we have the news. We're finished, Tracy.